In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can generate an end area volume report. So sometimes it's still necessary to create an end area volume report. And in the past, we've always developed that from reading some cross-sections that we've created. Well, now we don't need to create a set of cross-sections just to generate an end area volumes report. We can simply create some cross-sectional name boundaries and then use the end area volumes report to extract the quantities from our model using an average end area approach. So I'm going to go into a different file here. So I'm going to go up to File Open. I'm going to scroll down to a DGN file that I have named excess name boundaries London Road we're gonna open that file up and what we're gonna do is we're gonna create cross-sectional name boundaries every 100 feet along our alignment and we're gonna generate our end area volume report based on those cross-sectional name boundaries so note, I'm not gonna be creating actual cross-sections here I'm just gonna be creating cross-sectional name boundaries at the interval that I need to do my reporting so we're, once again we're gonna go over to our drawing production tools go to our name boundary tool and this time we're going to select the civil cross-section tool here inside of the place named boundary civil plan so we're going to select that you're going to see the dialog changes it's going to be changed to place name boundary civil cross-section what we want to do is select our drawing seed so we'll select ANSI D under bar excess it's going to set our detail scale and some of the other default settings here and what we want to do is we want to identify our path element. So notice down here in the lower left hand portion of the screen, it's asking us to identify our path element. That's just looking for our alignment that we're going to create these cross-sectional name boundaries along. So I'm going to select that. And then in my name field here, we'll just leave that set for London Road. And then for our offsets and our interval, we're going to key in. We're just going to select the lock to the start. And we'll do an ending or stop station at 91 plus 00, zero. and then for our left offset we'll do 100 feet to the left so we'll do minus 100 our right offset we'll do 100 feet to the right so we'll key in 100 there and for our interval we're gonna go every 100 feet along our alignment so we'll key in 100 there our vertical exaggeration we will set that to 1 in this case our top clearance we will set to 1 and our bottom clearance will set to one and we'll leave our elevation datum spacing at one as well okay now when we do that you'll notice in the plan view over here that dynamically places those cross-sectional name boundaries along the alignment every hundred feet that's just showing you temporarily where the where they're going to be placed not to actually place them in the file we need to data point to accept left click and it's going to go through and create those cross-sectional name boundaries inside of the 3d model Okay, so if we scroll over here or zoom in to the 3D model, you can see it creates these cross-sectional windows or cross-sectional named boundaries in our view. Now to create the end area volume report, we need to go over back to the home tab, go to our model analysis and reporting panel, go down to our civil analysis tools and locate the end area volumes report. This report's going to read those cross-sectional name boundaries and generate the end area volumes report. So I'm going to select this notice it's very similar to the quantities by name boundary report so it's looking for some type of name boundary group so in our case we had a name boundary group called London Road so we're gonna select that and we're gonna left click and then we're gonna right click to complete it's gonna go through examine each one of those name boundaries it's gonna examine the 3d model and it's going to perform the end area volume calculations based on the interval of those name boundaries that we've placed and once it's complete you'll see the end area volume report appear and you can analyze your various quantities for your end area volume report if you want to see a different type of report remember we can always just go over here and select a different type of style sheet to uh, get more detailed information or a different uh, type of report so that's pretty much how you do the end area volumes just create some cross-sectional name boundaries and then just run this uh, end area volumes report tool here and it's gonna perform the calculations if you found this video helpful please give it a like if you want to see more such series consider subscribing to our channel thank you and see you next time